So it's been a little bit since I've been on a proper trip. I actually have some family coming into town from Michigan. We're all headed up to Washington, renting a cabin and visiting North Cascades National Park. I spent a ton of time in the Cascades backpacking, but this is going to be a really unique and fun trip and so happy to have my family in town to experience it as well. But enough of that. I'm sure you came here for the gear. It's going to be a three day trip with a lot of outdoor activity focus more so than spending time inside or in a city. Uh, the bag I am choosing to bring is actually the all new Gravel Travel Domestic Duffel. I've had this for a few weeks, tested it around the studio, but I'm really excited to take it on a proper trip. It is an ultra lightweight 40 liter duffel bag backpack convertible bag. For 40 liters, this bag weighs just over a pound, which is absolutely crazy. A lot of the travel bags I review come in at four or even five pounds a lot of times. So if you're really weight conscious, this could be a good option if you need a high capacity backpack or duffel bag. It's the poly quarry material from gravel, which is really nice. It's dust and scratch resistant. And essentially, it's just a really big cavernous bag. I'm not going to get into a full review. Let me know if you want to see more details on this. It's so interesting. I'll probably end up making one anyway, but I'd love to gauge your interest, especially while it's still discounted on Kickstarter. Before we get into what's inside of the bag, I want to thank the sponsor of today's video really quick, and that is Athletic Greens. If you're not already familiar, Athletic Greens has created a nutritional drink called AG1 that has over 75 different vitamins, minerals, and whole food sourced ingredients. It's so much more than a simple greens powder, and I say that from a ton of personal experience. Around 10 years ago when I started my weight loss journey, I decided to put a lot more focus on my health and nutrition. That was when I discovered Athletic Greens and AG1. Uh, since then, I've taken it on and off over the years to help support my digestive system and help support my immune system. I've always thought of AG1 as a sort of nutritional insurance or a really high quality multivitamin. It's not meant to replace a healthy diet, but it's a great way to ensure that you're getting a full spectrum of vitamins and minerals that your body would need that even with really proper care and attention, your regular diet may be lacking. Not even counting, you know, us travelers, if you're out and about, usually you're not eating up to your normal dietary and nutrition standards. AG1 is paleo, keto, and vegan friendly, which is great. But the second almost as important thing is the taste. AG1 tastes legitimately good, so it's not some disgusting cheap greens drink powder. It is delicious, and I legitimately look forward to drinking it every day. You can go to athleticgreens.com slash Josh Fenn, and you can actually receive a free year supply of immune supporting vitamin D, as well as five free travel packets of AG1 with your first order. So huge thanks to Athletic Greens for sponsoring this week's video and sending me out some more AG1. Without any further ado, let's open up the bag and see what else I'm bringing. Just a quick peek inside the bag. You can see there's a ton of space here and I can actually fit quite a bit more than I have. And I packed a few extra goodies since it is a road trip. I like to pack a couple of luxuries when I don't need to worry about flying and carrying my gear everywhere. Instead of laying everything out, I'm going to go category by category, starting with clothes. Starting with what I'm wearing, though, I'm going to be bringing the Filson logger cap. I normally bring the Arc'teryx Alajo cap for backpacking because it's really lightweight and packable. It doesn't really matter much for this trip, so bringing this and I uh, just got it and it's super cool looking, I think. Then I have the Outlier Merino t-shirt. Uh, these things are great. I've had this one for years and it's held up really well. Then I have the Dewar No Sweat Pants. I bought these a few months back and have completely fallen in love with them and want to pick up some Dewar shorts soon, but these are a uh, tensile fabric which is really great for travel, uh, really great for outdoor stuff, just overall super comfy, they look great, uh, technical fabric, can't recommend those enough. So that's my main outfit that I'm wearing for the day. Other than that, I am bringing a pair of like lounge shorts for sleeping and for around the cabin. These are the Unbound Merino, Merino tensile sweatpants, again, super comfortable. I've really locked in my pants this year with some really like comfortable and stylish and still technical fabric options. I couldn't be happy with these two. Uh, both have been just completely amazing since I got them. And then I have a couple of t-shirts from Wooly. I uh, love the Wooly t-shirts. They're a little bit of a better value than the outliers as well and the quality is pretty similar in my experience. Definitely recommend those. 
And because we're going to North Cascades National Park, I'm absolutely going to be doing as much hiking as I possibly can. The rest of my family are not hikers like I am, so I'm questioning how much I'm going to be able to do, but I'm doing as much as possible. I'm going to bring my sun hoodie. This is the Outdoor Research Echo hoodie. Picked it up for the start of backpacking season this year, and it has performed wonderfully for me. Would definitely recommend that as well. Just really great for sun protection for travel in general, but if you do a lot of outdoor stuff, great option. And then I have the Outdoor Vitals Ventus hoodie. Uh, this is a synthetic hoodie and a large size comes out to nine ounces. This thing is super light, super packable. It's my normal backpacking mid layer. And again, this thing is truly excellent. I wanted something really lightweight so I could bring it on the hikes with me. You wanna be prepared with extra layers, even if it's warm, just in case things go down. But the Ventus hoodie is excellent, super lightweight. Uh, it's DWR coated as well. So like light rain, you won't really need a rain jacket or anything like that. Again, I got this at the start of backpacking season with my outdoor research echo hoodie both have been an excellent combo for a base layer and mid layer socks and underwear i have the ex officio give and go 2.0 boxer briefs love those things i just picked up a few more in black my other ones were in gray and then i got some darn tough quarter hiker cushion merino socks those things last for years and years strongest and most durable socks I've ever encountered. For footwear, I didn't want to get my desk dirty, but I'm going to be wearing the Zero Shoes TerraFlex 2s. They've gotten pretty muddy, but have held up really well durability wise, super comfortable. They look nice enough to wear during the day, especially for an outdoorsy type of trip and definitely adequate enough for hiking with the lugs on the back. And then just in case I'm doing any sort of like stream or river crossings or my feet get wet, I'm going to bring my Z Trail sandals as well, just as a back up to have around the cabin if I don't want to wear the shoes all day long. For tech, I'm keeping things very simple. There's no cell service up there. There's no internet up there. So it's going to be mostly off grid. So nice time to kind of get away from some of the tech, but still bring in a few essentials with me. For a small loadout like this, I love using these small pouches. This is the air split kit been great. You can expand it out, shrink it, uh, fits a pretty wide range of things. Uh, bringing my Kindle Paperwhite with me, going to do some reading, catching up on things. I uh, just started Where the Crawdads Sing. It's one of my wife's favorite books and has been bugging me to read it. So finally breaking down and getting that read. Uh, so far it's been good. Uh, bringing the Sony Link Buds. They're not without faults, but I do really like these. These are excellent for any sort of like outdoor activities for hiking and things because it lets in all of the ambient noise. Really important and good for safety. Really good if you're around other people as well, but just want to keep your earbuds in. I found these to be a lot better option for hiking than transparency mode with the AirPods Pro. For power, I'm bringing the Nightcore NB10,000, a real favorite of mine, especially for outdoor activities because it is so low. I didn't want to bring MagSafe power bank with me because I'm the only MagSafe user out of my family that will be going. When you're the most experienced hiker, you always have to be prepared and make sure to take care of everyone. Bring in the two port Anchor Nano Pro Charger, 40 watts, uh, nice and simple. It's gonna cover everything I need. And then I'm bringing two cables, one lightning, one USB-C. Uh, this one's from Nomad, this one is from Anchor. I love a good braided cable. I made sure to pick longer options as well because you know cabins are pretty limited on outlets and power. You wanna make sure that you can reach your devices if you need to while they're charging. Keeping things pretty simple, for the dop kit but I am bringing some liquid since I'm not flying I don't need to worry about my liquid free dop kit setup uh, this is the gravel travel explorer mini uh, I used this in a long-term travel loadout I did somewhat recently that was actually the Explorer Plus, but the same material and a lot of the same designs. Uh, these have been great. You know, I love the materials that Gravel uses, both in that duffel backpack as well as their little dop kits. Not too much to report on here though. A few days in the cabin, don't need too much in terms of toiletries. I've got a little travel, simple deodorant. I have my toothbrush. This is a bamboo toothbrush also from Gravel. I've been really enjoying that and actually use it at home now too. I've got some little toothpaste tabs. Space saving or not, I love the toothpaste tabs just a lot more convenient and easy to use less packaging less liquid being transported around the country too so it's a little bit better for the environment uh, and then I have my face moisturizer bringing the liquid of that and then for soap and shampoo body wash 
face wash, all of that. The Beard Brand Utility Bars have been an excellent choice. Use those at home all the time now as well since I started using them in my travel kit. And then I have that stored in the Matador flat pack soap bar case. Great way to keep a soap bar from not getting all scummy or nasty in your DOP kit. We've all dealt with that before. I'm sure I know I have. I've had this for well over a year now, continues to perform great. And then for beard care, I have my beard oil, uh, temple smoke scent again, excellent. And then I have a little mini travel beard comb from Beard Brand. Uh, they have a bunch of fun colors and stuff too. Nice simple dop kit, everything I need for a quick trip. Also bring this, I normally use it for backpacking. Uh, it's just a bunch of little hiking goodies and safety items. Again, because I'm the most experienced hiker, the responsibility kind of falls on me to make sure that no one's hurting themselves, that we're prepared and kind of have everything we need out there. So I'm going to run through this really quick. I know I don't do a ton of outdoor stuff all the time, so I don't want to bore everybody. But let me know if you do want to see more like backpacking gear, loadouts and that sort of thing. So from left to right here, I've got the Garmin InReach Mini. This is a little satellite communicator. It connects to your phone so you can actually send text out or you can hit the SOS button on here and get medical help if you're injured out in the field and don't have any way to save yourself. Uh, this has been a great peace of mind for my wife because I do solo backpacking all the time, but because we're gonna be in a group, no cell service, uh, no communication access or anything, this is just a really great thing to have as a backup and just in case anyone gets injured. Uh, also, always important to bring a headlamp when you're hiking, even if it's a short hike, day hike, anything like that. This is the Nightcore NU25, super lightweight, performs great. I've had it for three years now, I think, and it's excellent. Also bring the Knox Provision Zoom Tube. We talked about this last week, and I've just fallen in love with this thing. I'm not a proper like bird watcher or anything, but this has been just a lot of fun to bring out on day hikes and things. Bring a little first aid kit. This was a little custom printed Dyneema bag from Space Bear Bags. I got it on Garage Grown Gear. I'll leave links for all this stuff below, but this is just a custom kit with like medicine band-aids, that sort of basic stuff. Uh, this is my little bathroom kit. You got a trowel, hand sanitizer, toilet paper. Um, even on a short hike, especially if you're in a group, you're gonna save someone's day bringing this with you. I've got sunblock, I've got some bug spray, I've got a little UV chapstick, just cause that always lives in there. And then I have the Leatherman Squirt PS4. This lives in my little ditty bag pouch for backpacking, so bringing that as well. Just the last few miscellaneous items here, uh, bringing my Lark Bottle Movement. Love this thing, it's definitely my water bottle of choice for any sort of travel and trip. Um, bringing the AeroPress Go, and I've actually gotten quite a few questions recently about uh, more details about how I use the AeroPress Go in regards to coffee beans and grinding and that sort of stuff. It's kind of a case by case, trip by trip basis situation for me. Sometimes I bring beans, sometimes I buy beans at whatever local roaster in the city that I'm traveling to. Uh, really depends. This case, there's going to be no coffee around, so I'm going to pack some beans in here. These are just little reusable bags my wife found somewhere, not sure where. Wear, and then I'm bringing my little hand grinder that I normally use for camping. Uh, so nice and rustic, fits with the whole cabin vibe and uh, performs really well for a decent cup of coffee while you're traveling. Uh, also threw in, just because this stuff's all going in the kitchen, bringing my couple of AG1 travel packs. I hope you all understand how legitimately excited I was to have them sponsor a video. I have spent thousands of dollars and absolutely love their product. So I was so happy to hear from them when they reached out excellent stuff go check the description again um, and then lastly i've got the able carry able cooler it's a little backpack fitting sized cooler i got at the start of this year it's truly great great to have summit beers when you're hiking or just end of the hike beers if you're not in the mountains also really good for road trips keep this in the car keeps and drinks cool you know we've got a six or seven hour drive up there i think so it should be a fun time so happy to have some family visiting again after all of the nonsense that the last few years have been. Uh, it should be a great trip to have never been up there. Uh, thank you all so much for watching though. That is it for the loadout. I'd love to hear if you have any trips coming up. I've got a trip to Austin coming up, a uh, trip back to Michigan in a few months as well, and then a uh, trip to Nevada. I've got a loaded travel schedule. Should be doing quite a few more of these as I go on those trips. Thank you again for watching and I'll talk to you in the next one.